261. This is Jelly Bone. Who's the most horrible, awful, terrible, ghastly, gruesome, ugly man on the radio? Ghastly! <laughs> Who's going to be on Jellybone on LBC on Saturday this week at half past 11 with Gene Davis? Nasty! Oh. Who hates girls but is adored by kids everywhere? Who ring him on Jellybone's open line when he's there? Nasty! He's a nasty man! Oh. And welcome to the Nasty Show on Saturday morning, the multicoloured Nasty, and that's the show that everybody in the world listens to, because they all like to ring up Mr Nasty and argue with him on 353 811 And today, there's no argument at all, because I'm going to say that water is dry, and everybody knows that that's true, isn't it? Oh, what a horrible programme this is. How are you feeling, Jean Davis? I was feeling very well oh. until you came into the studio, well, Mr Nasty. It's my programme, it's my jelly bone, it's not, I'm Jean Davis, it's not Mr Nasty show at all. It's Nasty! <laughs> Everybody's going to agree with me that water is dry. It's well, only the top of the water that's wet. That's absolutely underneath ridiculous. It, underneath everybody it, everybody knows that water is wet. Look, but I'm I must clever, say, I'm a, little, little I'm a little bit confused, but I'm sure that somebody will ring... Hello, Jennifer! Hello. How are you feeling? All right, thank you. What do you mean, all right? You're supposed to feel horrible when you phone this programme. Why did you ring? Because I'm arguing with you. Well, argue then. Go on. Water is wet, not dry. No, it's not. It's wet. Why? Because it's wet. No, it's not wet. I've just proved that. Have you stuck your finger in a bowl of water this morning? No. Well, you go away and do it and you'll find out that it is. No, what? I won't. Listen, when you're sitting in the bath, you don't have a towel to dry yourself, do you? Yes. No, not when you're in the bath. It's when you get out, isn't it? It's the same thing. It's not the same. Ha <laughs> you hear that? She says that sitting in the bath is the same thing as getting out of it. Oh, go away. Wouldn't it be much more healthy if we all moved out onto the street, into the fresh air? If it's in a freezing cold night and you live in the street, next morning you won't be very happy if you live out in the street. Well, you take an electric fire with you to warm you up, don't you? Don't be silly. Where could you plug it in? You well, couldn't drill a hole through the water and put it in your house, could you? Well, listen, have you ever been on the street... Yes, I have. Well, they have and elect- I've been on the street. Well, they have, ele- they have electric lights on the street, don't they? Yeah. Well, you unplug an electric light and plug your fire in there. Not them sort of lights are not for plugging in. They work and there's no plug hole. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, but if you unscrewed the light, you could use the plug hole what the light screwed into, couldn't you? If you unscrewed it, the light would go out. This is well, that's all right. There's lots of them on the street, aren't there? If you'd been on the street, you would have seen us, hundreds of them. Yes. So you wouldn't miss one, would you, to plug your fire into? I think it's time. Ah, <laughs> I've won another argument. If that water works, you could have them all the way through the year, couldn't you? No, I've got enough water as it is. Well, you don't play with it much, though, do you? Well? Well, well you don't play with it much, do you? That's what I just said. Well, we know. And if you had water works, you could play with them whenever you wanted to, couldn't you? Listen, mate, I'm President, President Nasty Me, because I was in for the job before the other two were. Because I think you're silly because you can't light, you won't be able to light waterworks because it'll put the light out. No, it won't if you get wet matches, will it? <laughs> right, who's the next caller? Tony, hello, Tony. Mr. Nasty, what a name, eh? Yeah, great name, isn't it? Well, I think Mr. It's not nice, oh. it's nasty. Oh, oh. go away. Oh, you're horrible too. Oh, oh, that was horrible. Oh, that was an awful noise. That sounds worse than the male voice choir of Michael Parkinson What's sitting in the back. What's happening? Oh, oh, Who are you? Who am I? Can't you read? Who am I? Nasty! And what am I? Nasty! And how are you feeling? Oh, I'm nasty. Keep 
thing in the world, and I argue with people. I know that boys are better than girls, and the sun is cold, and the world is flat, and Australia's is cotton, and I'll come to take over. I'm going to do this show because I'm the best. I'm going to do this show now. No, 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 I'm afraid you're not. Look, this, this is, this is I, a programme. I can't I'm, have you on I'm, here. I'm, 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 I'm not going sorry. away. I'm not going away. I'm not going away. I'm not going away. I'm not going away. I'm going to stay here. Exactly I'll, be I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. You can't interrupt like goodness me. I need to stupid twit and they should get sacked. Oh, the nasty phone. Anyway, on this stupid, ridiculous, nincompoopish, horrible, grotesque programme, this is the bit that you've been waiting to hear. This week's nasty argument, and it's the ultimate one this week, the best argument you've ever heard. Before I tell you what it is, how are you feeling, kids? Horrible! The world is flat. Now, you probably know that at home, so there probably isn't an argument for you. But if there is, let's see if you can beat these kids here. Right, who's got the first argument? You have, right. What's your argument? If the world was flat, if, if you got into a boat and you sailed right to the end, you'd fall off. That's quite right, unless you turned round. Yes, but you might not turn round. What? You might not turn round. Well, you'd be stupid if you didn't turn round, wouldn't you? But if it was round, when you got to the edge, you'd go upside down, wouldn't you? Yes, but... Yes, you would. Ha-ha! <laughs> so it must be flat. Who's next? You are? Over here, right. What's your argument? The sun's got to be round, cos when... The sun's got to be round. The earth's got to be round because when at night um, the sun goes and the The moon... sun goes down, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and the moon comes up. Well, yes, the sun goes down and the moon comes up. Yeah, we're But the going... earth doesn't go down and up, does it? I know, but the earth's going round. Who says? How do you know? Ha, ha, ha! Beat him, right, go on. But there's loads of hills, so it can't possibly be flat. There's hills. Ah, oh, well, it's bumpy, but that's not the same as being round, is it? Ha, ha, ha! Have you got one over here? Well, all the satellite pictures that are taken from the moon show that the world around. The satellite pictures are on the weather forecast, aren't they? They're not on the moon, are they? Well, they're taken from the moon. How do you know? Ha! <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? Have you, have you got one? Hey? Ha, <laughs> ha! She hasn't even got one. You have. Right, what's well, yours? Well, the people who say around the world in races and things, they, they um, don't fall off an no, edge of anything. No, that's because they turn round before they get to the edge, isn't it? No, because um, they go right round and go up at the same place again. They go right around the whole world. Yes, that's because they go round it, but it's still flat, isn't it? Look, I'll show you. What is this? Hey, what's this? What is it? What's it called? A circle. Oh, it's, a circle. Oh, it's, a it's a record. What shape is it? Round. Round, right. But what shape is it now? Flat! <laughs> well, that's what the earth is, isn't it, eh? Ha ha ha! Beat you! Who else has got an argument? You lot haven't? Have any of you lot got an argument? But the world isn't um, like that. It's um, fuller. It's all round like that, like the sun. How do you know? Because I've seen it. You've seen it? What do you mean you've seen it? You're standing on it at the moment. You're standing on the earth, aren't you, or sitting on it? Right? Yeah. And is that round or flat? Well, it's flat. Is it round or flat? It's flat, but... Flat! <laughs> but the world is round, and they build foundations on the world, and then... Who told you? Well, I've seen them. Seen what? Foundations. And what shape is the land that they build foundations in? Flat. That's it. I want who could be the man to make you all a fan. We all know that man at home. ha <laughs> ha Millions of people all over London were singing up with me this morning. Do you realise, Jean Davis? Well, I expect they were. King of the world. You were a horrible, nasty man. And I expect there are a lot of people dialing 35381111 to tell you just how horrible you are. And to tell you that horrible, it's really... Horrible, horrible. Hello, Sarah. Hello. How are you feeling? All right, thank you. What do you mean, all right, thank <laughs> you? What are you supposed to say when you ask what you're feeling? Horrible! See, they all know. You should know as well. Why did you ring up, Sarah? I'm going to say you are horrible as well. When I ask them how they are, they say to me, horrible. Well, let's see, let's see if Matthew can say it. How are you feeling, Matthew? Horrible. Oh, that's a bit Well, feeble, it wasn't it? bad, actually. I thought it's that was horrible. Horrible. What Go about on, these two boys over there? Come well, on. how are you feeling, you two boys? Horrible. No, no, no. Horrible. Let me hear you say it. Horrible. Oh, <laughs> pathetic. Hello, Mark. Hello. How are you feeling? Right. Oh, go away. Anybody else who wants to argue well, with Mr. Don't. Nasty on three? Nasty, the name Mr. is. Mr. Nasty. Mr. Nasty, not nasty. Nasty. And he's horrible. Horrible. I 
absolutely horrible. Boys like worms, don't they? Yeah. 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 I've got my fun club here today. What? Everyone can eat you up in the box. Worms don't eat people. Worms don't eat people. They're too small to eat people. I think they'll be... throw you in the water. People eat worms. You know, in foreign countries, they eat worms. Mr. Is that Ooh. a good idea? Mr. Nasty once had a worm as a pet. I yeah. remember he took out on a lead. I thought that was a horrible idea. It was a fantastic idea. The what's... jelly bone listener invented me a, well, like a all worm. The worms and frogs to eat you up. Thank you very much. Who's... <laughs> You agree with me, don't you? No. Why don't you? Oh, well, what is it? Well, if you, as you said, you should do an experiment. If you put your hand in water, all your hands wet. Yeah, only the bit where the... It, it, have you done it? Have you done it? Pardon? Have you, have you put your finger in a, in a bowl of water while yes. I've been talking? You have? Yes. Have you got a bowl of water there now? Yes. Right, well, well, is your nose on your face today? Yes. Right, well, I want you to stick your nose in the water. Will you do that now? <laughs> you just stick your nose in the water and you'll see what happens. All right. Right. Are you sticking your nose in now? Yes. Well, it doesn't sound as if you are. <laughs> Listen, this is what it sounds like when you stick your nose in the water. My guinea pig sitting in it. Guinea pig sitting in the water. Is he really? Yes. What, so you've got your nose and the guinea pig in at the same time? Yes. Well, that proves it's dry, doesn't it? Who's the next caller? Oh, I'm winning today. Well, let's see what Danny says. I'm sure he doesn't believe water's dry, do you, Danny? No. Where do you live? I live at nine, um, ten marsh lane. And water is a liquid. And all liquids are wet. How do you know? My teacher told me at school. And how do you know your teacher wasn't telling you a joke? Because our teacher's good teacher. He never tells jokes. Never tells jokes? No. So you never laugh when you're at school? I always laugh at school. Ah, well, they must tell jokes then, mustn't they? No. Why not? What makes you laugh then? Um... Do jokes make you laugh? Some. Ah, <laughs> well, there you go. You see, they must tell jokes. I've got a nasty joke for you. What's that? If you ever see a rabbit with a runny nose, don't think it's funny, because it's not. <laughs> <laughs> What happens to the underneath of an umbrella in the rain? What does it so stay? That's right, you see? Yeah, <laughs> I've got another one. Yeah, hey! Because the rain on the top is making it wet. It's not wet underneath, though, is it? No, but the top is. Well, what's that got to do with it? I didn't ask you about because the top. Because the water goes down on the top. Yeah, but it falls off, doesn't it? What happens to a, an umbrella two hours after the rain? Stays wet if you leave it outside in the rain. No, two hours after the rain has finished. <laughs> What happens to it? And they are, he agrees with me as well, stupid dog. It stays dry, doesn't it? No, See? It's that wet. proves it. No, it's not. Go away. Who's next? I think, I think I won Debbie, that argument I think too. Debbie I did very the well there. No, I don't think you won that oh, argument at all, Mr. I Nasty. Oh. I, think, I think that Debbie won that hey. argument. And she... oh, thank you. Thank you. See? They all agree with me. No, I don't think they do. If you insist on water's wet, you come round to my house. And I'll pour a bucket of water down your trousers and then you won't be a Mr Nasty, you'll be a wet nanny. Will I really? Well, I won't come round to your house anyway. Wouldn't want to come round to your house, would I? But water's dry. I've won this morning's argument, as I always do, because I'm king of the world. Thank you very much. And it's also got to prove that boys are much more clever than girls, because all the boys have put good arguments forward. All the girls have put bad arguments I forward. don't think that's true at all. Well, I think again. everybody argued very well, and you're I too horrible. Again.